Even before his new TV show airs, Sasha Baron Cohen is provoking outrage, pranking a wide variety of public figures across the political spectrum. On his new Showtime series premiering tomorrow, Who is America? That's the title. The star of Borat and The Ali G Show again wore disguises, conned his way into interviews. For obvious reasons, the show was kept under wraps until recently, but a teaser showed Cohen offering former Vice President Dick Cheney a waterboard for him to sign. Are his stunts exposing truth or just pushing an already polarized country farther apart? Many of the victims have been speaking out. So far, they include Sarah Palin, Dick Cheney, Ted Koppel, Bernie Sanders, Roy Moore, General David Petraeus, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, and my next guest, Joe Walsh, the former Illinois congressman turned radio host. So, Congressman, what was the setup in your case? Hey, Michael, good to be with you. And, and look, let me say at the outset, I think Sasha, I, I think Sasha Baron Cohen's a funny guy. I thought Borat was hilarious. But look, in my case, <laughs> like in a lot of the cases, he's a funny guy because he gets people to say stupid things. He gets people to say stupid things because he lies to them. In my case, he flew me out to Washington, D.C. They knew I was a big supporter of Israel's and they presented me with this award as one of Israel's greatest friends, found out later the whole thing was a ruse, and it was a ruse probably just to get me to say some stupid things. So they give you the award, and, and then what? There was some aspect of this where it dealt with Israel using kids to protect itself against terror? Yeah, Michael, it was just crazy. Look, he, they flew me out to D.C. They put me up in a hotel. They put me in a limo. They, they sent me off to this studio in Virginia. Again, all under the lie that I was getting an award from some Israeli TV station because I'm a great supporter of Israel. So after they conducted an interview, they, they had me read off of a teleprompter talking about some of the innovative products that Israel's invented. And, and then they had me read about this four-year-old child in Israel who, when a terrorist entered his classroom, somehow he grabbed the terrorist gun and held the terrorist at bay. And, and that was, a, a, I guess, an example of how Israel trains and arms preschool kids on how to use firearms. And boy, shouldn't we do that in America? And so I'm reading this, Michael, off of a teleprompter, and I'm thinking to myself, well, this is kind of crazy, but it is Israel, and <laughs> Israel's strong on defense. Um, we found out the whole thing was made up. There is no TV station. There was no award. And it's pretty clear that, that Sasha Baron Cohen wanted me to say something pretty crazy about guns, like in America, we ought to arm preschool kids. Did an alarm go off in your head, Congressman? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did. But again, Michael, it, it was too late because I, I, I was in the middle of this 15-minute thing talking about all the great things Israel does. So the alarm went off, but the alarm really went off about 3 o'clock that next morning when I said, oh, my God, I've been duped. And then we right. hired an attorney. We looked into it. And it, we found out pretty quickly that it was this new special on Showtime that he was producing, Sasha was producing. And we found out, as you said, Michael, I wasn't alone. Dick Cheney, Sarah Palin, a bunch of us were duped. So, so relative to Governor Palin, I mean, look, I, I feel like when I watch it, I am going to have a laugh at your expense, and nobody seems to have gotten you hurt. You will. <laughs> but the Palin, the Palin thing is really troublesome to me, because on her Facebook page, Governor Palin said that Sasha Baron Cohen posed as a disabled veteran, had heavily disguised himself as a disabled U.S. veteran, fake wheelchair and all. I mean, come on. If there's a line, surely that's over it. Sasha Baron Cohen responded. He said something like, the only service I said I was in was the United Parcel Service. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But react to what you've heard about the Palin episode. Well, and, and Michael, good point. And that's part of why I came out this past week, because I do think he crossed the line with Sarah Palin. Look, again, he's a funny guy, and what he did to me was funny, and I'll probably end up looking pretty stupid, but that's okay. I'm a big boy. But you impersonate a disabled veteran, 
he did cross a line. And I think Sarah Palin, Michael, was right to call him out. Again, he's got a right to do it. But I like the fact that in this world now, Sarah Palin and others like myself were, were pushing back just so people, when they go into it, and as you said, Michael, will probably all have a good laugh tomorrow night. But people need to know the truth. So initially, I heard that it was you, and I heard that it was Cheney, and I heard that it was Palin, Arpaio. I thought this politically will probably be to Republican slash conservative benefit, because once again, it'll be the Hollywood elite making fools yeah. of people on the right. But apparently, Bernie Sanders is on that list, and Howard Dean as well. Right. Now, I, again, I, I'm sure at the end of the day, Michael, it will primarily be attack on us conservatives. I, I, he sprinkled in, as you said, Bernie and Howard Dean, probably to make it look <laughs> balanced. But look, they were going after Mitch McConnell. They were trying to go after primarily Republicans. And based on what happened to me, Michael, I, I assume they're going to go after us for our beliefs on, on guns and the flag and things like that. But again, this is the world right. we live in. And I'll, Michael, I'll probably laugh at myself. Hey, Yak Shamay, if I remember how to say it from Borat. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Thank you, Congressman. I appreciate it. Thank you, Michael.